Cave paintings were created by our ancestors, mostly in the Paleolithic period. Today, there are many places in the world where cave paintings have been discovered. The earliest cave painting was created in Indonesia about 44,000 years ago. Some of the most famous caves with cave paintings are Luska, Chevet Cave, Laz Gil, and Cave of Altamia. The main reason they drew cave paintings was to visually communicate. These paintings show the evolution of humans and were a stepping stone to the development of language. This was one of the first methods of visual communication and because of these paintings, modern day humans have learned so much about the evolution of our ancestors. Caveman paintings helped early humans to communicate their lifestyle, communicate with their future generations, and overall help devolve auditory communication such as language. Cave paintings really became relevant and were studied in the later part of the 20th century. This timeline shows some of the more famous cave paintings and when they were discovered. After their discovery, these paintings began to be studied by archaeologists and several theories were developed to why, how, and when these paintings were drawn. They are one of the greatest mysteries within archaeology. This timeline shows us when these paintings were created. As you can see, that these are by far not close in their time periods or their relative ages. This leads us to the next question, why? There are several theories when it comes to answering this. Stockstad theorizes that they were painted just to be able to create something new. He states, the effort and organization required to accomplish the great paintings of Lascaux indicate that their creators were motivated by more than just simple pleasure. De Quiros theorizes that these paintings may have religious contexts because of the repetitive symbols within them. Finally, the third slew of theories are structuralist theories, stating that these paintings or recorded history of the environment that these people lived in. One of the reasons cavemen drew cave paintings was to show their lifestyle. Since most of the cave paintings were from the Paleolithic era, the cavemen lived in hunting gathering societies. They usually drew what was visible during the daylight hours and drew mostly hooked animals. There are very little drawings of humans, and when they exist, they are much more primitively drawn than other objects. As seen in Las Ca, a person with a bird-like head is shown in one of the cave paintings. We see a lot of animals drawn over each other. Researchers theorize that all of the paintings could be drawn over a thousand years apart, all layered on top of each other. On this picture, we see both predators and prey, showing the observation of the hunt. This means that the cave paintings were one of the first recorded histories ever found. If we examine the animals a little closer, it turns out that the predators seem to be tigers and the prey are rhinoceros and maybe hippos. All the way to the left is an undefined creature with balled up arms, which seems to represent a caveman. All of this was probably drawn after a hunt to tell a story of what cavemen experienced. In other caves, similar themes of the hunt are seen. Cave peoples may have had religious ideologies within their ancient societies. This can be seen within mythical cave paintings. The Chevette Cave offers us a couple of them. The first one is called the Sorcerer. It resembles a creature that has human legs and deer antlers. Research of this figure shows various animals including an owl, a wolf, a stag, and a human. The second one is most known as Venus. 
also residing in the Chavette Caves. It is a painting of a vulva connecting to a pair of legs. They then connect to a bison head and a part of its body. Some people say that it resembles a minotaur. In our modern societies, we find links between these paintings to mythology. These paintings emphasize the fact that hunter-gatherer societies possessed imaginative thinking past the simple recording of nature. Within these paintings, there are also a slew of different symbols that are similar amongst different geographical locations. The symbols evolved over time, increased in quantity, and became more complex. Dr. Genevieve von Petzinger has studied many cave paintings and the patterns the symbols exhibit. Then we could very well be looking at one of the oldest systems of graphic communication in the world. I'm not talking about writing yet. There's just not enough characters at this point to have represented all of the words in the spoken language, something which is a requirement for a full writing system. Nor do we see the signs repeating regularly enough to suggest that they were some sort of alphabet. But what we do have are some intriguing one-offs, like this panel from La Paciaga in Spain, known as the inscription, with its symmetrical markings on the left, possible stylized representations of hands in the middle, and what looks a bit like a bracket on the right. The oldest systems of graphic communication in the world, Sumerian cuneiform, Egyptian hieroglyphs, the earliest Chinese script, all emerged between 4,000 and 5,000 years ago, with each coming into existence from an earlier proto-system made up of counting marks and pictographic representations, where the meaning and the image were the same. So, a picture of a bird would really have represented that animal. It's only later that we start to see these pictographs become more stylized until they almost become unrecognizable, and that we also start to see more symbols being invented to represent all those other missing words in the language, things like pronouns, adverbs, adjectives. National Geographic also believes that these symbols may have similar meanings. Symbols repeated across artworks may indicate that those symbols had agreed upon meanings among the artists. Thus, perhaps cave art also represents the earliest form of graphic communication. In reality, cave art may have been created for a variety of reasons. While we may never know with absolute certainty why cave art was made or the meaning behind individual paintings, these works give us insight into the evolving minds of our prehistoric ancestors and the world in which they lived. Their detailed drawings may teach us about the appearance and behavior of animals that have long been extinct. But perhaps more significant, a part of our never-ending quest to find out who we are and where we came from, cave art may provide evidence of a time when humans were first able to etch their thoughts in stone. The cave paintings, though so far apart, all contain common themes, whether in Argentina or in France. This leads us to believe that certain symbols have been used to communicate with the newer generations of people. At this point in the research, it is almost impossible to tell if cave people wanted to communicate with us and leave their legacy on this earth. We do know one thing for sure. Cave paintings have taught us a lot about the hunter-gatherer lifestyle, about the creature that was alive in the Paleolithic period, and about the hidden complexity of the ancient tribes.